Today I'll show you how to set different page numbers in Microsoft Word. When your document has many pages, page numbers will help you know the size of the complete text and find specific parts within a document more easily. You also often need different first pages for each chapter, whether it's the number style or the position of the page number. We will apply those settings to help you write reports, final thesis, and other types of academic writing. First, open Microsoft Word. I have prepared here a document about the wonderful world of animals. To add page numbers, you need to first go to your Insert tab and in your header and footer group, click on Page Number. On the drop-down, click on the first one here that says Page Number. Once you've clicked it, a Page Number dialog box will pop up. Here, you can choose the position where you want your page number to be placed at. But I'm just going to choose the bottom of the page option this time. You can also choose the alignment where you want your page number to be placed at. Here, I am choosing the right alignment. Next, there's a box here that says Show Number on First Page. The first page here is our title page, and we don't want the page number to be shown on it. So we can choose to untick the Show Number on First Page box. Once you're done, click on OK. As you can see, the page number starts directly on our second page, starting from number 2 and skipping our first page. But maybe you want the number to start from 1 instead of 2. To do that, go back to your Insert tab and click on the Page Number button in your header and footer group. This time, in your drop-down, click on the Format Page Numbers option. A Page Number Format dialog box will pop up, and in the Page Numbering section down here, select the Start At option and change the number to 0. This will make our first page, or our title page over here, become page number 0, and our table of content page into page number 1 instead of page number 2. Click OK, and there you have your table of content page number changed to 1. But, at this point, you may realize that putting a page number in the table of content page is a bit unusual. So we want the page number to start from our third page instead. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. But don't worry, I will guide you through. To start the page number from a specific page in your document other than your first two pages, you need to create sections first. If you double-click on the footer here, the blue text does not say the section numbers, so that's how we know that we currently don't have any sections in this document. Now let's close the header and footer view first. To add section, you first want to activate the Show Hide button first in your paragraph group. Once you've clicked it, you can see the page break here, which marks the end of a page. So you want to add section break here to separate our first two pages here from the rest of our document so that we can start inserting the page number later on, starting from our third page. To add a section break, select first the place after the page break, go to the Layout tab, and in your Page Setup group, click on Breaks, and select the Next Page option. Now, the section break has been added, and if you double-click on your footer, you can also see on the blue tag that our document has already been separated into two sections. Pages 3 and so on marked as Section 2, and Pages 1 and 2 marked as Section 1. Next, you want to select onto the footer on your third page, the page where our Section 2 starts at, and where we want to label as Page Number 1 later on, and unclick the Link to Previous button in your Navigation group. Now go to your header and footer group, click on page number, in the drop down click on page number again. A dialog box will pop up, and this time, you want to tick the show number on first page box because we've added the section earlier and our first page now is no longer our title page, but the third page here. So it's okay to show the number on first page. Now, click on the format, and change the previous page numbering setting to 1, because we want the page number to directly start from number 1 instead of 0. Click OK and OK again. And now you have your page number starting from the third page and so on. Now in our section 1 here, we still have the page number that we set in the beginning. So let's delete it. But before we delete it, 
make sure to unclick the link to previous button from the section 2 first in your navigation group so that it doesn't affect the changes that you will make in your section 1. Delete the page number in your table of content page. Close the header and footer view. Unclick your show height button. And you're done! Now you can have your page number starting from the third page here. That's it! That's how you set different page numbers in Microsoft Word. Very easy yet useful, right? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a like, comment down below for any questions, and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Make the most of your MS Office skills and maximize your professional performance. Till next time!